And after the Trump presidency and the House Intelligence Committee just voting to approve the release of a Democratic written memo that answers the memo Republicans released last week. President Trump will now decide whether to release the Democratic response. Weija Jang is live at the White House with more. Hi, Weija. Hello, Elliot, and hello to everybody. You're absolutely right. Right now, White House lawyers will begin the process of conducting a legal review and a national security review, but it is President Trump who will make the final call. President Trump will soon weigh whether the public should see another classified congressional memo. I think it's going to be very hard for the White House, like it was hard for the Republicans on our committee, to block release of this. I am more concerned that they make political redactions, not redactions to protect sources and methods. The House Intelligence Committee voted unanimously to release a Democratic rebuttal to the GOP memo that accuses the Department of Justice and FBI of abusing surveillance powers in the Russia investigation. Congressman Adam Schiff authored the Democratic memo. On Twitter Monday, President Trump called him little Adam Schiff and one of the biggest liars and leakers in Washington. In another tweet, the president called the committee's Republican chairman a man of tremendous courage and grit. We had to use this process in order to make it public because DOJ and FBI were refusing to investigate themselves. President Trump, who cleared the way for the release of the classified GOP memo, said it vindicates him in the Russia probe. Other Republicans are not drawing the same conclusion. I actually don't think it has any impact on the Russia probe for this reason. The memo has no impact on the Russia probe. Not, not, not to me it doesn't, and I was pretty integrally involved in the drafting of it. The DOJ and FBI are already reviewing the Democratic memo. President Trump will have five days to decide whether to green light its release. A Congressman Devin Nunez, who authored the GOP memo, did not comment after the unanimous vote tonight to release the Democratic counterpart, although House Speaker Paul Ryan has said he supports that release as long as sensitive intelligence information is removed.